Today we're going to be talking about bandwidth versus throughput. All right, G H throughput, and I'm pretty sure we all know what bandwidth is, right? Be aware of your students' reactions when introducing new terminology. This may be a key indicator of their level of understanding. It helps to introduce ideas in a unique way to help the students understand the concept. Remember that students may be totally unfamiliar with the topic at hand. Bandwidth refers to how fast a device can send data over a single cable. Because we all learn in different ways, there isn't one example that works for everyone. Now that we've looked at bandwidth, let's examine a unique way of introducing throughput and how it relates to bandwidth. Here you see a busy highway. In optimum conditions, cars can use all the lanes and move along at full speed. In this case, the highway is bandwidth, showing how fast the cars can potentially move along. In this example, you see fewer cars on the highway. The cars, or bits of data, represent throughput. Throughput refers to how many hits are actually transferred between two computers. Comparing two contrasting ideas supports better understanding. Ask students to compare and contrast throughput versus bandwidth and see what they come up with. 